Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung, and welcome to your friendly, friendly, most friendly proctologist. I've got a question for you. Have you ever wondered what the life cycle of an external hemorrhoid is? We're talking from itty bitty little baby all the way up to full grown big external hemorrhoid. If you have, you've come to the right place. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. I appreciate that very much. We're trying to make this channel grow to reach as many people suffering just like us. So, when we're talking about the life cycle, we gotta start from the beginning. And when we're born, since we haven't used our butt yet, they are the smallest they will ever be. But life happens, right? And so when they're small, we'll talk about the toddler years. And when you start fighting with them, the hemorrhoids will eventually keep growing, but very slowly, ever so slowly, so that you may not notice until one day you feel down below and you're like, oh my gosh, I think I think they're a little bit bigger. I don't know it, but it, I'm not sure, but they feel different. And what I mean by that is that if you were to look at the folds of your anus going into the hole, you may feel them to be a little bit thicker, a little bit, maybe a little bit more swollen, right? They're not huge skin tags by that by any means, but you used to notice like your folds were probably like paper thin or they were super smooth. Now you kind of notice them more. So that would say that that's the very early stage of hem external hemorrhoids showing that they are, well, they've been mistreated once or twice, or maybe, a, maybe five, 10 times, who knows, right? What about the next phase? Well, we'll talk about them going into adolescence and maybe in their early 20s, okay? And when you keep having more episodes, maybe more, free, maybe more severe upsets, right? The next phase, you probably feel down below and you think, oh my gosh, now I feel like balls or little swellings happening on my bottom end. It's almost like if you, if you think about like small little Christmas ornaments, little ball ornaments starting to form on your bottom end. How did you notice them? You probably noticed them after a bowel movement. When you sit down, you get the blood filling the blood vessels. So they start to swell, make you feel a little bit full. But then the poop happens, right? And the friction and irritation, the hemorrhoids hate doing their job. We have no idea why, but they're there. And so after all that's done, you feel on your bottom and you say, oh, gosh, I feel a little bit full down there. And so if you look with the mirror here, you may notice little much thicker folds and they almost look like circles. You can almost kind of push them around a little bit, okay? That's that phase. Let's talk about when they get a little bit older now and so they're in their 20s and 30s. They're just starting to live their adult life and they're making themselves known to you, right? So the things keep happening. Unfortunately, for you and your hemorrhoids, you're not able to get along very often so they get a little bit bigger. Now what do they feel like? Well, those balls are now starting to become bigger. So maybe they were Christmas ornaments, maybe like tennis balls. No, let's, let's say ping pong balls, okay? Not literally, but in comparison, relatively. Now they're swelling to the size of a soccer ball, volleyball type of thing, okay? And when you have the bowel movement, they swell up more, so you definitely feel more fullness. And at this point, you may be trying to tuck those guys inside. You're like, oh, I feel them sticking out. But gosh, when I push them inside, they feel better. And the reason why is because you're compressing them, you're putting them inside their anus and squeezing on them, therefore letting that blood return back to your body and that makes you feel like you don't have stuff hanging out anymore okay but in actuality once you start getting your day on the road and you start moving around and stuff they will fall back out but they probably won't be swollen so you probably didn't probably won't notice until the next day you have the bowel movement okay 
what about the next stage? Well, they've got a career now, and maybe they've got a family of their own. That stage of development. So maybe they're in their 40s. They're almost getting to the point of full-scale development, okay? And at this point, you can definitely notice them after a bowel movement. They are more swollen, and they develop almost to the point of skin tags, okay? And skin tag, how can you tell? Well, you can actually, like, pick them up and move them side to side. You can even pick them up and look underneath them type of thing. You know, you look with the mirror and you're like, oh my gosh, like this is more than just a ball. It feels like they have an attachment to me, almost like a sail. You know, like on a sailboat, they kind of move back and forth and they've got some, they've got some mass to them, okay? What about the fully developed stage of adulthood. Well, at that point, most likely your internal hemorrhoids are also with them as well because it's hard to just damage or get, not get along with your internal, excuse me, your external. Very likely your internal hemorrhoids are going to be a part of that same party and so you probably have a bigger skin tag plus some of that bright pink wet type of coating going on which is the intestinal lining or the internal hemorrhoids are starting to pop out as well and so from the stages that we just talked about from being an infant all the way up to adulthood you see that the external hemorrhoids have this covering of the outside skin of your anus and they just continue to get more swollen and develop into larger balls until skin tag right and that is where we want to notice early because if we can stop them from getting injured they don't have to grow into full adulthood so stay well treat your hemorrhoids well be friends with them and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.